In this video, I'm going to share with you why I believe that bunch tight end is really, really, really tough to stop. I'm going to show you a uh, just a bunch of different defenses and why I really like this offense a lot. And um, I'm also going to talk a little bit about why I think this de this offense is so good from a perspective of pass protection and pocket awareness. So I'm really excited to dive into this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications if you want to check out the rest of the videos. I post new videos every single day on YouTube. So again, if you want to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you uh, to hit that subscribe button. And that being said, I cannot wait to break this down for you. Again, this is this is just my favorite offense right now. I mean, between this and Bunch, these are just, they're really good. And, and they're really good for a lot of different reasons. And I, and I think it's really important that we understand why they're so good. So uh, that being said, again, Bunch tight end. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually discuss uh, PA boot over with a little bit more in-depthness and kind of an understanding uh, as to, again, what the defense is going to do to counter PA boot over and then how you can kind of counter the counter. So that being said, let's dive in. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide our line to the right. We're going to double team the right side guy. We're going to put a tight on a delay fade. That's the basic way to run PA boot over. And the beauty of this is it will literally beat every coverage. The, the, uh, the triangle receiver is most important receiver in this offense. And as you can see, that's match. And it just torches it. It just torches it. So they have to... The bottom line is they kind of have to use her the crosser. That's just kind of the bottom line of this offense. Again, when you incorporate this with running gun bunch, the audible mechanic is so uh, just so effective. It really is. Um, the fact that you can audible to this is really, really good. And, you know, because you can go, you know, I can go from bunch to the wide side of the field, which is very common. A lot of people like to run this. I actually prefer to run my bunch tight end to the short side of the field. I kind of prefer to run my bunch to the short side of the field, to be honest. But as you can see here, this crosser is so, so good. And what's really even better is you have this big uh, post route over the top, right? So what you're going to see is we can go to this. And now our crosser, uh, like I said there, Monta Sweat just shedded my life away, uh, has a lot of room. Now, one of the things that a lot of people are liking to do right now is they are liking to go ahead and, and QB contain on the outside. So my recommendation when running this is to actually cancel the play action, stay in there for a second, then roll out if you want to roll out. So I'm going to hit right trigger, cancel the play action, and then I don't normally even have to roll out. But as you can see, that post is so, so much better than people realize. It's so much better than people realize, okay? Okay. So that being said, now I want to kind of talk about, again, what are the adjustments that they're going to make when you start running this? Well, one of the number one adjustments that they are going to make is they are going to try basically to do two things. They're going to try to blitz you off this edge. So let me give you an example. So let's say we go uh, cover three, okay? And then let's say we do something like this. So you got your deep third for the crosser. You've got your blitz here. Maybe they QB contain. Uh, and then they're going to take this guy. They're going to probably put him on a purple. They're going to user this guy right in here and basically try to take the crosser themselves, right? That's kind of what a lot of people like to do. And if you run boot over, like I just suggested, where you're rolling out, you could roll yourself into a sack. And that's really, honestly, the number one way people stop this. The bottom line is that's the number one way people will stop this offense is by actually it, it really becomes more about they're just trying to get a shed or trying to get a sack or trying to get a contain so when people start adjusting pa boot over has in my opinion the best blocking mechanic in the game because of the way the running back will basically pick up pressure from the backside. that's what makes it so good so what i wanted to show you and let me see if i actually have it i don't think i do um so let's say for example I sent a blitz off this edge, okay? This is a pretty good blitz for this. Um, what you're gonna see is, I'm just gonna release the tight end on a route just, just to show this. Watch the running back. I'm gonna cancel the play action and watch. He's looking for work, looking for work, looking for work. So you get really good pass protection. And that's, to me, one of the big things that people sleep on from this formation is the amount of, the, you actually get really good pass protection when you do that adjust, or when you leave that running back on his default little mechanic of, of play action action. So let me give you another example here real quick. 
So let's say I'm going to send a double edge pressure. So I'm going to send six. Um, so do this and this, and we'll send, you know, pretty heavy pressure. Okay. And you know what? For kicks and giggles, we'll send seven. Okay. Now I want you to watch this. So we're blocking seven technically. And I'm going to go ahead and delay fade. Watch this. So I'm going to snap the ball, and you see that right there. Now, if I would have canceled that, I would have had a little bit more time, but that's the beauty of this. It's very, very difficult for them to get in on that running back. It really is when you leave him in a play action. If you just block the running back, it's not that hard. They can pretty much dumb out the running back. Let me give you a quick example of that. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm just going to go to the curl flat corner. I'm going to block the running back, and what you should see here. As you see there, that left side guy, he actually didn't do a great job, but you still see the idea. That's the issue with this. And that's where, you know, sometimes when people try to throw from the pocket against this, it's not as good. Well, the reason is primarily because you're not doing this mechanic right here and leveraging all of the things that you can do from this play. For example, one of my favorite uh, route combos to the short side of the field because you're gonna get a lot of cover three. When you run PA boot over, I don't know why, but people really want to run cover three against it. Primarily, I think, because they want to try to blitz it off the edge. So you'll get a lot of cover three. Well, if I go corner route to Godwin, whoops, and then I go streak to Scotty Miller, and then, you know, I can do whatever I want with this tight end. If I have, you know, hot rod master, uh, I can put him on a corner. Right, I could do that very easily, and now I've got a high low, and I still got my really good blocking mechanics. So now you see I got a high low on the right, and then I've got this bomb on the left that can do really good. I, there, I got crazy shedded, but you see the idea, okay? So you can do more than just run PA boot over, even though you're still technically running PA boot over. You know, you could basically hot route from it and do something like this, and I think this right here is a great counter to what a lot of people are gonna do. Cause that's how a lot of people are gonna try to stop you. They're just gonna try to blitz the crap out of you, okay? And you gotta understand they're gonna play some hard flat coverage. So another thing you can do is you could just do something as simple as this right here. I mean, very, very simple. Let me actually check back to PA boot over. You go curl flat and then maybe go, you know, delay fade or streak. Something real simple, right? Real, real simple, snap the ball, and now you've got a curl flat read on the back side. Now, right there, that guy played out of his mind, but you see the idea because they have to go hard flat. If they don't play hard flats, you can hit them on either side, which is also why I think it's actually really important to occasionally run a flat route to the back side of this. Simply take circle and put him on a zig. That's all you have to do. And now you've got that little, that little check down just like that right there, okay? So the point is, don't just run PA boot over. Obviously, if they can't stop it, sure, just run PA boot over. But if they start to kind of give you some trouble out of this, man, I'm getting shedded like crazy. Um, if they start to give you some trouble out of this, then what you can do is you could go to PA boot over, and then you could go ahead and still double team, but now take your tight end and run him on a corner route, and then maybe on the back side, run a, a little dig or something, you know, something simple. Uh, you could also run like a post if you have Hot Route Master, right? You could do something like an inside switch type concept. But the beauty of this is it's all from that blocking mechanic that has a really, really good blocking mechanic for the running back. That's really the beauty of this because if the, that's going to get him out of blitzing. And then once you get him out of blitzing, then you're free to do a lot of different things. Um, let me give you a, let me give you an example. So the crosser is really good. It's going to force them to put their flats on 30 or their curl flats on 30. But what, let's just say we did something like this. Let's say we go, um, let's say we take uh, the triangle receiver and we put him on a, uh, a post because we have hot rod master or slot apprentice. And then we have uh, Miller on a curl, Evans on a zig. And then maybe even we, you know, we don't even have to streak the tight end, but we could. Right, we can shake the tight end or just block him. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We're going to still work. It's still going to work for us. And that's what I like about this. So let's say they go to, you know, whatever they're going to run. And now you've got a nice little check down. Got that curl flat. And then you've also got the back side where you can work. I think bunch tight end, people really haven't um, actually learned how to pass outside of just running boot over. And that's what I'm trying to get at. For example, this play curl flat corner 
is really hard to guard. It actually is really hard to guard. If you run it just like this right here, watch the circle receiver. This against match. I actually played it okay, but you know, I, and I threw that a little late. But that curl flat corner concept, very difficult to guard um, against match. Another example could be if I go curl flat corner and I go streak, um, and then I, you know, I just literally just go with a traditional flood, something like this. Watch, uh, you're gonna see there, you know. And again, I'm, I'm throwing it way too late, but the point is branch out, and we teach you how to do that in the ebook uh, with everything. You know, one of the better setups from P boot over is simply this right here, and you can do you could either put the running back on an in route. Um, and still have a delay fade, or you could put the tight end on a streak, and what you'll see is that running back will oftentimes just just get you easy yards. Um, you know, I think it's really really hard to stop everything this offense offers. Uh, let me give you another example of something you could do. So, last one, and then we'll we'll cut the video. So, what you could also do, let's say you wanted to run that running back to the in route, then what you could do is you could go ahead and take. Uh, uh, the circle receiver and put him on a corner route if you have that hot route master and now and then you could take square and put him on a vertical so you still have your crosser that's going to pull their user but now you have this this uh, slot apprentice uh, corner which is really really good for you know match coverage really good for uh, specifically cover three and it's going to open up it's going to now open up your uh, your fade to the square receiver. So you see right here, right there, you see how that square receiver is wide open, even though I'm getting my life shedded away. So again, just mix it up. I think that's the biggest thing, biggest takeaway. For example, again, you have to understand they're going to play hard flats, right? So they have to play hard flats to stop your crossing route to circle. So that's where I like to go, you know, running back option route. And then, you know, I could do... Um, you know, tight end, tight end delay fade. And then I could um, maybe do like a, something to circle, for example. Maybe I could, you know, streak him or curl him or zig him or just something that you can do uh, to get this thing open. You know, I really like the zig uh, or the hitch. But if they're starting to really hard flat you, then just do something like this. And, you know, now they have to respect those with two curls which means they're not going to be able to put a 30-yard flat on that side. So the bottom line is I would just encourage you um, to try a couple little things. You know, um, Again, if they're going to send pressure all the time, uh, another thing that's really simple that can just mess with people, motion this running back out, and honestly, you don't even have to do anything with him. Just put him on a smoke screen. You can run this right here, and what you'll see is this will literally just nuke coverages. I mean, you're just going to nuke coverages unless if Brady can get him the ball, as you can see. So the bottom line is, you know, run boot over, but, but learn how to run other things from this and make this a full scheme other than just running, you know, three routes. Obviously, they're, in my opinion, the best three routes that you can get this year in the game, which is what makes this so good, plus the delay fade, of course. But when you incorporate some little things outside of that, it makes this offense even better. So thanks for watching this. I think Bunch Tight End has a lot left unexplored. And so my encouragement to you is to test out some stuff. We put a lot of those kind of extra route combos in our Bunch Tight End guide. So if you want to get access to my full uh, Bunch Tight End ebook, or if you wish want to get access to every ebook that I've released, I've released seven defensive guides and uh, two offensive guides. Uh, I would encourage you to sign up for our true fan membership. That is just $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you want. So just 10 bucks a month. And again, you can cancel it whenever you'd like. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time.